Um, I love the story I shared it last time that I was here of uh, Dr. Marco Marginelli, Italian neurophysiologist, big skeptic, atheist, used to go from European city to city trying to disprove mystical phenomena. He went to San Giovanni Rotondo trying to disprove the uh, stigmata of Padre Pio. He heard about Medjugorje. He says, I'm going, I'm going, I'm gonna disprove this nonsense. Uh, he went there and he was just, blown away by the experiences that he had. I mean, he was uh, in, with a pilgrimage group. There was a woman who was miraculously healed from leukemia. Uh, and he, he just uh, witnessed uh, various fascinating occurrences. The one that really got him was the behavior of the birds. Um, before the apparitions would begin, the birds outside were very loud, chirping and cooing and being incredibly loud. And the second that the apparitions began, when the visionaries fell on their knees and experienced their ecstasies, every bird would go completely silent. And that absolute silence of the birds, it haunted him, it haunted Dr. Marginelli. And a few, and a few weeks later, um, after um, returning from Medjugorje, uh, he actually became a practicing Catholic. Yes, amen. Praise Jesus and Mary, amen. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Daniel, for that little testimony on short notice. Uh, you mentioned the birds. You know, um, when Our Lady uh, first started appearing there shortly after, then we started up here at Notre Dame. The Notre Dame basketball team under Digger Phelps he was the coach at that time, was over in Yugoslavia on a tour during the summer playing basketball, and they made a side trip to, to, uh, to Medjugorje. So they came to the library here um, at Notre Dame and they gave their testimony. And uh, this, the story that David told about the birds is the one that David Rivers, who was the star guard on the team, uh, who was not Catholic, he said it was stunning. He said there were all these birds outside. At that time, the visionaries were appearing in the, what was the rectory right next to the church. And uh, there were thousands of birds there. And then as soon as Our Lady came, boom, it's quiet. Quiet until she went, until she left. So a uh, little sign from Our Lady of her presence there. So powerful what has happened there all these years now. So, um, so we just pray that we continue to receive this grace from Our Lady in this time of grace. That, uh, and remember that she's our mother, she's with us. Remember what she said to Juan Diego, am I not here who am your mother? Well, that's what she's saying to us now. Okay, we're gonna break for lunch now. We'll be back at 1.30. Uh, just a reminder that there are priests available. This is odd, we have more priests than uh, we've ever had up in the reconciliation room. So it's a good time for you to go to confession. That's up in the area, uh, upper level. Uh, you'll find it up there. And then also uh, remember that those who of you who want to participate in the Living Rosary, we have a little rehearsal over here behind the curtains on this side of the